Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. To get a hold of me, simply call the office at 303-684-3404. Today, we're going to talk about one of the used Freightliners that we have on the market. This is a 2017 Freightliner M2106. The conversion is Western Hauler. This truck has a little over 113,000 miles on it. So let's address that right from the start. I realize that the truck does have a few miles on it. This truck is designed to be a commercial truck. This engine and motor is proven to go at least a half a million miles. So don't let those 113,000 deter you at all because there still is a lot of value in this truck. So what do we notice on the side view profile? Okay, one thing is the bed is the majority is flat. Well, that's by design and on purpose. So you can actually put things on the bed. Some of them have the rails that run along the side. This one is flat. So you can put side by sides, four wheelers. In the farm and ranch community, you can haul hay on it, things of that nature. There's a lot of value because this truck has so many different things that it, it can do couple other things to notice just as we're walking along the side as we can see the lights run along the bottom so this truck will really light itself up at night and as we come on around let's take a look directly in front and we're gonna start at the top and work our way down a big safety advantage to the Freightliners is visibility. Take a look at the size of that windshield. It comes with 2,500 square inches of glass. So that makes visibility simply outstanding. As we come on down, the hood is made of compressed fiberglass, so that makes it extremely tough. An example, we did have a hailstorm come through some time ago demolish the pickups but you can even tell on these Freightliners anything had happened take a look at the grill here that allows air intake in tow hooks located here and here now the bumper is broken into three parts the reason for that is if we get in an accident and ding this one we can simply replace that section without having to do the entire bumper. Underneath the hood is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine, coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 350 horsepower and 1,000 foot-pounds of torque and as we can see things are kind of color coordinated where we see red we're gonna leave for the Freightliner mechanics but where we see things that are yellow such as here we can check those things for pre-trip inspections power steering fluid here water fuel separator there now if we do leave the lights on things like that and kill the batteries we can actually jump start the truck underneath the hood without having to tear into the batteries by hooking up our cable here and our ground right next to it As we take a look inside the driver's seat, both driver and passenger are air. The Western hauler comes with a little bit different leather. This is the black croc leather. The front seats are heated simply by pushing a button there. Now there's a lot of electricity and voltage running through this truck. So it's a good practice to use this kill switch located right there to shut it off when you're done with your travels for the day. Now, these trucks are 
designed to start from the ground. So turn your key halfway, let those gauges go all the way over and basically reset themselves and then go ahead and start the truck. As we take a look in the back seat, now this seat does make down into a bed and once we get in the cab, I'll show you where that button is, but you can notice how much room is available in this truck. The storage compartment here. Now let's focus on the bed. As we take a look directly behind, and we'll work from the ground up, we see it comes with a bumper pull hitch located here and we hook those lights up right there. As you can see the bed is already lined so that will help with longevity of the truck. In addition to that it has a trough cut out as you can see right here. A lot of the conversion companies don't do that. I really like that to assist you in hooking up your trailer. In addition, tie downs located on both sides. As we go on forward and up, we can see the backup camera located right in the middle. As we take a look from this side, you know, for having a few miles on it, this is, truck is in extremely good shape. There aren't a bunch of scratches. You'll notice on the interior, there aren't tears, things of that nature. One thing I would like to mention, if you do need financing on the truck, our finance department comes with over 20 years of experience. So they're sure able to get you the, the best term and rate on the market today. As we take a look, at the passenger seat. Look how good a shape that interior is. This is another reason to buy this truck. We can make our adjustments for the seats here. In addition, there's the button to turn on the heated seats there. We have access to the cab air filters located under there. As we take a look here, we can get a good shot of the DVD player. And as we come on down again, notice how much room is available. So not only does this specific truck offer us a lot of comfort, but a huge advantage in safety over pickup trucks as well. We already talked about the windshield. Another advantage to this truck is it comes with air brakes. They're not hydraulic, they're air. So if we are in our travels and we get a little bit of a leak, we still have an unlimited supply of air to get us to where we need to go to get that adjusted. Let's compare that to a pickup. Well, if we get a, even a small leak in the hydraulic brakes, it's gonna to continue to leak out of that. It could get as extreme as we go to hit those brakes and there's simply nothing there. So the braking system is another advantage this truck has over a pickup. A third one, would be just the size and mass of it. So if we are in an accident, the probability of walking away from this truck versus walking about away from a pickup truck is pretty extreme with the advantage going here. Another advantage to this specific truck over pickup it comes from a financial or an economic standpoint. It's not uncommon at all. We're seeing it all the time. $100,000 pickups that's on the market. Well guys, you're gonna go through three or four of those $100,000 pickups by the time you go through this specific truck. Now let's crawl on in and take a closer look at the inside. Okay. As you can see, it comes with CB radio located right there. As we come on down, our engine brake is located there. 
Now that is a true engine brake. So if you set that on high and we have a heavy trailer behind us and we're coming down a sharp decline, we actually have 300 horses coming back at us. So that's going to make things safer for everyone on the road. Right down there is the trailer brake. This is an automatic transmission. Very simple. Right now we're in neutral with the brake on. And you can R is reverse, D for drive, and you're simply on your way. Cruise control located right there. Next to that is the mirror heaters. Intermittent marker lights located right here. These four are for the windows. This locks the differential. Now this is the dump valve. So basically what that does is let air out of the back of the truck. An example of when you would use that is when you go to hook up your trailer. Let all the air out, back up underneath and put the air back in, which will make things safer for you to hook up with. Lock located right here. This does come equipped with trailer air supply. So those lines are already ran. If you have a trailer that is air, we can simply, you can hook that up and use the air supply that's already built in. We see our climate control located right here. As we take a look at the console, a couple of cup holders located there. And inside, it does come with all the original manuals. So if you have any other questions about this truck, or, you have, or if you need more information, it's easy to get a hold of me. Simply call the cell at 970-370-4067, the work extension 303. 684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.